art exhibition is capturing the story of New York City and black culture. It's called Echoes of Tomorrow. We are the future ancestors. It was created by the nonprofits Art Genesis and NYC Culture Club. The collection features a series of artists all showcasing the spirit of New York City and its diverse communities. And joining us now are exhibit curator Mishanda Trefrer and the feature, one of the featured artists, Flo Ngala. Welcome. Thank you. Okay, Mishanda, what was the inspiration behind this exhibit? I wanted to do something special for my city. Mm. I grew up here. Um, I grew up around a lot of photographers here. And I wanted to do something special for them to celebrate, to celebrate photography. So that is the main inspiration for this, this exhibition. And Flo, what are some of your favorite pieces that you're most excited for people to see? Well, the whole ex exhibition is a must-see for sure, but um, the legendary Jamel Shabazz has some exclusive work that he has shared um, with Mashanda. So there's a beautiful gallery wall that's uh, kind of like a collage of mm -hmm. different uh, scenes from New York City from the 70s, 80s. It's his work and then two of the other co-exhibitors, Steve and um, Layla. And Mashanda, talk about the cultural impact, you know, New York City has had on black music and culture. I mean, I think New York City is black music mm -hmm. and black culture. You think about the Harlem Renaissance, you think about rap and hip hop being discovered in the Bronx. So it's definitely, it's the birthplace, you know, and it's, you walk outside and that's what you get. You get black culture, black tradition, and just amazing energy. And this question is for both of you. Juneteenth is Wednesday. What does that day mean to you, each of you? Well, for, for me, I think, well, one, being first generation American, you know, mm -hmm. being able to have an experience that encompasses the diaspora, not only with where my parents are from, but, you know, the life that they've created for me in this country really means a lot. Being able to also be a first generation Amer American working in music, a lot of the work in the show features work I've done with black musicians. So working in music, I think just, you know, celebrating Juneteenth reminds me and allows me to be very aware of my, um, you know, my black identity and, and how my work and the work of all the artists really fits into the culture and the zeitgeist of the bigger music, diaspora, and all the conversations. So I'm just thankful um, <laughs> that it's acknowledged on a bigger scale and that it continues to be amplified because, you know, we deserve it. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And for me, it's, it's definitely, uh, we should celebrate them every day, but it's a moment to focus on the ancestors. Mm -hmm. And the fight and the passion that they put forth to make sure that we could do things like this. Yeah. So, Flo, I'm wondering uh, anyone watching who, you know, kind of dreams of being an artist, any advice for them? Because sometimes it's very difficult. Yeah, it's a <laughs> big question. Um, I think for me, you know, it's been about seven years since I took a chance on photography. This wasn't my plan A, and it's, it, you know, it's been. Uh, more than what I could have ever dreamed of. I think just being um, patient with yourself. We were just talking about that in the mental health and mm -hmm. kindness um, backstage, but being patient with the process. You know, everyone's different. Um, this lane, sometimes you learn things as you go, and I think that I've um, been so thankful to have people like Mashanda <laughs> and just the different um, amazing individuals, whether they're curators, editors, writers, um, execs that I've met along the way that have just given that grace, but it's really important for artists to give that grace to themselves. Yeah. So. I would say, sounds cliche, but you know, just trusting the process and learning yourself as you go. That self-awareness is really important. And then applying what you learn um, as you go as well so that you don't make the same mistakes again. Great advice. Thank you Amazing. both for being here. Thank you. Thank you for having us. And good luck on the exhibition. Thank you. Echoes of Tomorrow. It's going to be showing at the Oculus World Trade Center, which is gorgeous there. Gorgeous. Um, yeah. And that's until June 27th.